Hey everybody, this is Dawn Vandeman. I am a director with Epicure and I was asked by Jen to come and share with you guys a few things that you can do to impact your business the fastest, the most successful, and um, the, the way that's gonna bring value to you and to those that you serve as an Epicure consultant. And that is by recruiting. Um, it is the fastest way to expedite your success, your trajectory. It's the fastest way you're gonna to find to bring income to your business. And it's the fastest way for you to bring other revenue sources um, in also in things that Epicure offers, like trips as an example. Um, I was one of the first, I think like 10 or 12 uh, in the United States and Canada to earn the trip to Mexico. Um, I'm not the biggest seller. I don't have the biggest team. I'm not a global director, but what I do very well is sponsor, recruit, and like I said, I use the term hiring. So I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit today about why it's so important, how you can do it effectively, and why you should be looking for the opportunities to build your business, build other people's um, uh, impact to their families, um, more even than you are about selling. So when we first get into direct sales or most businesses, right, you're about the product that you are selling, whether you work at Target, Epicure, what have you, it's about the product. So most people get really excited about our fantastic products, which is great. We've got spices, meal solutions, kitchenware, all those things are fantastic. And you're gonna earn income from that. You're gonna earn as a consultant 25%, you can earn the 3% bonus when you have over 2000 in sales. And as you move up towards leadership, you can maximize uh, that benefit coming into you, your family at 33%. We, um, as leaders are higher, make 30%. And then we get that same 3% bonus that consultants are above can when you have over 2000 sales. So that's fantastic, but I am only one person. There's only so many hours in a day. Uh, I turned 50 this last year. And I don't want to even try to do the work that I did at 25 or 35 even. Um, and I want to work smarter, not harder. So if I was working at McDonald's, I could work a 40 hour shift a week, a 20 hour shift a week, whatever that looks like. Again, I'm only <clears throat> bringing in one income into my family. But if I was the owner of that McDonald's and I said, you know, I can only be here for so many hours a day. I can only hire so many workers. I can only guarantee so many customers are coming into my store. What can I do differently as a McDonald's owner versus a McDonald's worker? And that word is franchise. So when you go to Burger King's, McDonald's, what have you, Arby's, pick a place, and you go through the drive-through, there's usually a sticker on that drive-through window that says they're part of a certain corporation, um, a, a certain franchise. And the more franchises that they have, the more successful they are, right? The more money they have coming in because it's not just me being a owner of one store. Now it's me being an owner of this store and me having partial ownership of 50 other franchises or 20 other franchises. So I want you to think about sponsoring as that. You are franchising your business. You now are bringing in other revenue that's coming in. You are bringing in other customers that are coming in. You're bringing other people's successes that are coming in and you get to learn and work side by side with a bunch of people. Yes, do you as a, the, the head of that franchise group make some money off of it? Sure. But you also are impacting all those other people's lives, all those other people's businesses, the communities that they serve. And again, when you switch your head into um, that franchise piece of uh, recruiting, you're going to find that the, the, the uh, potential for you guys is unlimited. So let's go over why you want to recruit. A lot of times I get people that say, yeah, but if I recruit my best customers, the people who love Epicure, who I know would shop at a discount, who I know would, you know, stay active, who I know would, you know, need the money for their family, whatever that looks like, then I'm losing on sales. Well, how much money is your customer buying from you in a year? Um, maybe they buy $500, maybe $300 every season, maybe $1,000 a year. I would be pressed to have somebody tell me that they know somebody who's spending more than $1,000 a year on Epicure personally. So if I sell to Susie $1,000, I'm making 25%. But if I give Susie the opportunity to maximize her value in Epicure, not just as a customer, but now as a consultant, how it's going to bring money and discounted groceries and all the, you know, the sisterhood, all those wonderful things that you like about the business. If I give that to Susie, she's going to be selling more than a thousand dollars a year and my income from that is again substantial 
It helps me move up to leadership, which increases my um, sales benefits from just my own personal sales, right? Because I get a raise. I now am making a piece of those franchises that I've brought in. And I also have more contacts. And Susie is bringing to our team now that I've developed different ideas than I have, um, different ways to work the business. And we're now working together, which means my business load is more substantial, but my personal load of responsibilities is now shared amongst the board. There is no downside to recruiting. And I truly, truly mean it. Um, it is the most selfless thing you can do is to give somebody else the chance to see how it and what it can do for their family. I always tell people, you know, there's two best case scenarios if you try um, Epicure. Date me for a couple months, see if you like it. If you don't like it, that's okay. You're going to have this best case scenario. You've made some money, you've got more kitchenware and spices in your cupboard than you had before, and you've made some new friends that you can continue on with. And you can always go back to being my customer. The other best case scenario is you love it and you decide to you know, take it as a business and, and make some money and earn some trips and have some fabulous times at conference with me. <clears throat> All those things are available. <clears throat> Sorry for the throat issues. So I want you to think about what you have available to you in this business. I want you to think about what you have available to you in Epicure. And I want you to think about what you have available to servicing others. You have so much to gain and nothing to lose by sponsoring. If you keep that connection with them and it doesn't work out, they're your customer just like they were to start with. If it does work out, they're bringing in again multiple streams of revenue into your business, residual revenue um, that you don't have to you know, work as hard for. And the other thing I want you to think about is that again, your job in Epicure is to help serve others. It's to maximize their value, right? If there's a sale, you're calling up your friends and saying, hey, you gotta get in on this. This is the best value for everybody to try it as a business opportunity. And the love and the respect that you're gonna have from other people, the joy that you're gonna have seeing other people be successful, um, buy a new car, get a new couch, pay off bills, go to Starbucks without feeling guilty, whatever that looks like for them, you know that you've had a piece in that. One of the proudest things for me is to look at every year how much income I have brought to the franchises, right? To our my family in this business, my my team, our team. And to I wouldn't have, you know, $150,000 in my back pocket to go donate to charity. But I've helped them bring in over $150,000 or $250,000, whatever it is for the year. Um, into their families. And that's really a good feeling. It's a great feeling to know that you've taken the time to care about somebody else. Yes, do I get paid? Sure. But the equal joy, obviously, is what I can do for other people and to see that impact that is happening on them. So I challenge you guys today to set a goal. Don't use the word, I hope. I hope to make leader. I hope to make executive consultant. I hope to, hope to, hope to. When you use that hope word, um, it gives you an excuse not to achieve something. But when you say my goal is to make executive consultant in the next two months, my goal is to recruit three people this month. My goal is to have a thousand dollars in sales. Whatever it is, you're gonna work harder for it and you're gonna make sure that it happens. And I am here with Jen to cheer you guys on, to see your success and to tell you that anything is possible. And if you're not sure how to do something, word choices to say, let us know. We're, we're here to help you with all that, but we don't know what you're um, feeling uncomfortable uh, with, apprehensive about until you say something to us. So don't ever be embarrassed. Ask a thousand questions. You're gonna ask a thousand questions of the same thing over and over again. And we're here to make sure that we're walking side by side with you uh, until you achieve everything that you would like in Epicure. So congratulations for taking this step to saying, you know what? I deserve more than what I have right now, and somebody else does too. This is just the beginning. Bye, guys.